Goodwin Sands, graveyard of so many ships, claims another victim, the South Goodwin lightship. Caught on the treacherous sandbank she was guarding, the ship was overturned by pounding seas and gale force winds. Only from the air could any rescue attempt be made. Lifeboats were unable to get near. Thanks to an American Navy helicopter, one man was saved, but the other seven aboard perished in the storm. Meanwhile, heavy seas still smash against the coastline, adding to the devastation in 21 counties caused by almost incessant rain and gales. This is the seafront at Seaford in Sussex. At Fishguard in West Wales, the full crew of the Dutch motor vessel Gramsbergen were saved after their ship had run on the rocks. The gallant lifeboatmen who came to their rescue looked down from the cliffs on the almost submerged hull of the Gramsbergen. Just off the Pembrokeshire coast, a Liberian tanker, the World Concorde, was split in two by the storms. Seven men were trapped in the forepart of the ship, but they and the other 35 members of the crew who were stranded on the tanker's stern section were brought to safety by lifeboat. To the men of the lifeboat service, and to the hundreds of defence workers throughout the country, the nation owes a great debt. Selflessly and without hesitation, they have answered the call for help during some of the fiercest storms of recent times.